Okay, I'm not sure why this the title of this question has the law of sines in here. We're not finding any angles. We know two sides and the included angle, so it will be the law of cosines. To find out how far apart uh, these two planes are. Uh, first of all, as far as this angle goes, one flies at 70 degrees north of east. This is east. So this is 70 degrees. That's the bearing of plane one. And the other plane flies at 60 degrees south of east. So that's this angle. So that the angle between them is 100, this 130 degree angle. And we're, they're given the speed of the plane, planes, and how far apart are they after two hours? So if plane one is flying at 500 miles an hour for two hours, it's gone a thousand miles. And similarly for plane two at 600 miles per hour for two hours, it's traveled 1,200 miles. Uh, by the way, here's uh, how you could plot points P1 and P2. That they're where they are at the end of two hours with uh, the x coordinate of plane one is 1000 cosine of 70, and the y coordinate is 1000 times the sine of 70. And similarly for plane two, uh, this angle right here, we could have said negative 60 degrees or 300. And this kind of proves the point that the coordinates of those points do represent 1,000 and 1,200 miles, respectively. Okay, this is P1.x squared, the x coordinate of point 0.1 squared. Uh, anyway, we want to find this. There's a few ways to do it, but I'm sure the intent is to use the law of cosines, which is for a side angle side situation, this side squared. is equal to, I'll just call this A, square root of 1,000 squared plus 1,200 squared minus 2 times 1,000 times 1,200 minus, uh, minus 2 times 1,000 times 1,200 times the cosine of the included angle. Here, what I meant to show you right there where this is 130 degrees. Okay. And another way to do it is to use the distance formula. The distance, you know the coordinates of these points if you want. And you could calculate it this way. Looks like the law of cosines is probably a little bit easier. So I'll let you work out this on your calculator. And then I'll post a uh, link to this graph that actually has the solution for you to take a look at. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.